General Almonte is one of the great Filipino soldiers of our time. And uh, in fact, he's also one of the best, um, one of the great Filipinos um, of, our, of, of our time. He deeply loves our country and uh, he has great ideas on how we can improve our country and to make our country respected in the eyes of the world. Uh, General Almonte is our father. Uh, he's a uh, father of uh, He's the father of uh, all reformists, I, I, I believe. Uh, he's an astute, a, a very good strategist, a very good uh, man, a good leader, and uh, we really admire him. Well, we are all here uh, supporting Joel's uh, book because uh, having worked with him, I know that he is a, an authentic uh, leader for reform is the person that will not allow anything to stand in the way to do what is right and uh, uh, he is audacious uh, is persevering and uh, you know nothing can uh, stop him uh, if it is the interest of the nation that is at stake describe general almonte as the conscience of a nation and when i ran for the senate and Ramos ran for president in 1992. I had some long conversations with him and he inspired me more to love my country, even if I already love my country because I was in exile for 14 and a half years from martial law and I came back and I also lost my passport and all that. But I realized that you, you only have one country and you must spread the wealth, spread the wealth to the people and, and work for the common good. And he uh, inspired me a lot with his uh, philosophies and his commitment to the country. He's a real patriot. Congratulations, General Almonte. Ang uh, masasabi ko tungkol kay Joal ay uh, si Joal ay uh, isa sa pinaka-respected officer sa buong armed forces. First of all, uh, I'd like to say that I'm so happy to see you again, John. It's been a very, very long time since uh, New York, but now that uh, we saw each other in this uh, very significant event, let me say that the launch of a book is always a moment for the immortalization of an idea, and the book will remain as the vessel of the spirit of the author. In that sense, uh, I am uh, in communion with General Almonte, who in our political struggles have always been the inspiration and the guide to many of the battles that we wage. But just as uh, this event of his book launch is an immortalization of his idea, I would also want to point out that this morning I likewise attended the Edge of People Power celebration which for the first time, I think, focused on the real and true spirit that moved EBSA. And to me, that is the Holy Spirit represented by His own vessel, the Blessed Virgin Mary, who in the many years that we have commemorated that momentous event, has always stayed on the background because we were always focused on the heroic actors in that celebrated event. But this time around, with the homily of Cardinal Sin, as well as the message of the President, and the scriptural readings, I think we're back in framing correctly what EDSA was all about, and that is walking with our God and making sure that in the building of the nation, in the growing of the nation, God is always with us, and for as long as we abide by His will, then we know that this beloved land of His, this beloved people of His, will fulfill their destiny. And so, with that, I would like to congratulate uh, Gerald Almonte for being one of the pillars in demonstrating, reflecting, and reflect, representing that spirit that is holy to, most of, to all of us, and that is the Spirit of God working to the wonders of the guidance of our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Epsa.
Thank you. All the best to Joe as uh, he is a dear friend, uh, one of the best military minds I know of. So congratulations, Joe, all the best. His name is Michael de Guzman. So to some of you, you may, who may have read the book, I was the one with uh, Secretary Almonte uh, doing Operation Big Bird. The gentleman over here asked me to say something about Joe. What else can I say? This is a very inspiring man uh, who inspires in one uh, high ideals of discipline and, uh, and good moral values. I have worked with him day in and day out for about six months and I was very fortunate enough to have gained wisdom and uh, even personal and spiritual development by being associated with Joe. Although I have known him since 1980, but uh, I am very happy and proud of my friend with the book that he wrote, The Endless Journey. I guess uh, each one of us, each one of us, after reading the book, will have the responsibility of taking up the cudgels and uh, continuing the endless journey in doing what we can in uh, having a much better and a more mature Philippines politically and even spiritually. So to all of you who have not yet read the book, a memoir of Joe Almonte entitled Endless Journey, I enjoin you and I encourage you to get a copy right away, borrow a copy right away, get what, whatever means you can to be able to read the book. So you will see the insightful aspects of the character and the things that Joe Almonte had done for this country. Thank you. Well, Joe Almonte is a good friend of mine. He is to me one of the most profound thinkers of his generation and my generation. He loves his country. He, he cares about this country and he cares about the future of the people in this country. Ronnie, I'm John Forbes. I'm with the American Chamber of Commerce. I used to be with the American Embassy. Uh, two tours, the Philippines early 70s and then after the Edsa Revolution. So I always have admired men of vision in the Filipinos who know what is in the best national interest for their country and their people. And uh, way up in that list uh, is uh, Joe Almonte. So I'm really thrilled to be here today with this excellent book, which I've not read, but I look forward to reading about things that I never knew and things that I knew about and forgot and things that I know very well. I'm sure it's going to be a great read by a great man. Thank you. Ang malasakit sa kababayan niya ron, pati na ang pagganap niya bilang kalihim sa cabinet ni Presidente Ramos. Well, I think uh, General Almonte is an enigma. And for many of us, he's our hero for all seasons. Joel, at the very least, is a very controversial figure in Philippine politics. But I like him. I like controversy. <laughs> and uh, uh, once in a while, we talk. We talk about China, we talk about politics, we talk about the military, and uh, I never fail to learn something from him. We have to just go on uh, winning the reforms that our country needs. What are the days that we apply to the things that happen right now? It's a It's very important for the nation to understand that uh, we really have to stop uh, this uh, you know, killing each other is has to stop. So I hope uh, that will be as a partial answer uh, be good enough.